new video today but before i forget please do leave a like a comment or consider subscribing if you found these uh, videos entertaining anyway it's first thing in the morning i have gotten my coffee yes this is a playstation mug um done some work on my bicycle already and yeah i just want to have a quick chat to you about linux so here is an example of what we call a fstab file or a file system table file. However, I like to say fstab. It just sounds more, I don't know, punchy. Um, but in, in past experiences on this exact install of Endeavor OS, um, when I mounted my 4 terabyte mechanical disk drive uh, via the KDE Partition Manager, it appended it um, on the top of the fstab file which means it failed to mount because you're trying to mount it to something on my main drive but it mounted it tries to mount it before my main drive is mounted so there's no mount point for it simple solution was just to move that line down um, and I thought to myself well that's kind of strange it makes mounting you know additional drives uh, a little bit more difficult. If you have to know how to edit your fstab file and possibly mess up your entire system, that would be sort of like a barrier to, say, a Windows user moving over to Linux, if, especially if there's someone who likes upgrading and fiddling with their machine. But recently I installed a small SSD that I primarily just use for games, and I decided to use KDE Partition Manager again, and, well, it just it just worked it it uh, what's what's the word not prepended it appended it at the bottom or what whatever the technical term is but it did put it at the bottom which means da -da 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 -da, that the mount point for it would have already been mounted so it 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 it, it worked i didn't have to edit the fstab file so i just thought i'd speak about this today because I would imagine anybody on Windows installing a new drive in their system, you know, they wouldn't have to edit something like an fstab file that could potentially mess up the entire system. But, you know, if it's a brand new drive that has not been initialized yet, they'd still have to go into the disk management software, which is very similar to the KDE Partition Manager um, and other, you know, partition managers on Linux. So I was initially I thought, wow, this is this is slightly more advanced than it is on Windows. But now after mounting my my last SSD, I'm like, maybe they've fixed it and they make sure that the partition manager just puts the line at the bottom so that the mount point is actually available, which means no command line editing, no editing of you know text documents or, or config files or anything. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what is your experience with mounting new internal drives. I'm not talking temporary stuff, you know, like what you plug in and you use it and you eject it. I'm talking internal drives that you permanently want mounted. Um, auto mount, things like that. Um, yeah, just setting up the auto mount flag, you know, uh, the default and the auto mount flag generally works fine for me. These drives, basically all my drives are mounted on boot. Um, you know, I start up Steam, it has access to the drives and, and the game files on there and whatnot, whatnot. So, yeah, that's it for me today. Please do remember to leave a like if you found this video entertaining at all. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.